Honestly, the original or what we just did, Debo? What's favorite better? favorite rendition right there? That <laughs> remix. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, everybody. I have to, I have to watch the circus. Here. Here. I have to, I have to watch the circus. Here. I'm here. All right, all right. If anyone's interested in a condo in the Toronto area that might get hit by baseballs oh. on the regular, mm. oh. uh, I got something for you. Uh, in the Brockton Village neighborhood, five hundred thousand dollars built in 2019. By 2019, the complex has been hit by dozens of baseballs because it's basically by McGregor Park. Oh, yeah. prompting the city to install safety netting and trees. Oh, so, again, nice. $500,000. If you don't mind the baseballs flying your way, this condo could be for you as Devo and Mel join the conversation. It got us to thinking, however. That's nice. Um, do you have deal breakers? Do you have things that you just cannot have with any apartment or condo or, or home, new or used, that you just walk away from immediately? Devo. Deal breakers. I, I just want to first apologize to all the residents of that condo building because I've been smashing bombs Woo! at McGregor Park. Oh! Let's go. Bat okay. flips from it's Devo. Been, it's been a minute since I've done something like that. No, I, so my, <laughs> I, I didn't really think through my last purchase. I did. I love the place. I love the unit I'm in and everything. But it looks into a schoolyard, okay? So that means the kids are always on recess. Like, oh, always on recess. The worst. And any teacher would know, any parent would know, when kids, Mel, you know this, when kids have free time, they just scream for absolutely no reason. They do like what we just do. They do yeah. this. We they do, do this. Just... And I've watched it. I've happened to be like walking by the window and just taking a sip of water and recesses out and the kids come out and they walk out the door and they go, la! <laughs> <laughs> and just stand there. And I'm like, nothing. Like, what is tricky? Now it's like research for me. I'm trying to figure out their mindset. So uh, that I would suggest against living near uh, very, very close to right. a schoolyard. Find an area with no kids, according yeah. to Devo, and you'll be happy. <laughs> Mal, what's a deal breaker for you? I think, by the way, that's a deal maker for some people exactly. to, to live right by a school. Nice uh, for help. me, I was shopping for a house about a year ago. So we're in a new home. Uh, there was one house that I really loved. It backed onto a cemetery. Yeah. Mm, Maybe nope. that's why the. But here's the thing, nope. though. No, nope. I'm okay. When you're shopping in Toronto, your criteria changes, okay? Mm. If I was shopping in, uh, somewhere else, I, I would say this is a deal breaker. But then in Toronto, you go the cost versus this, maybe being haunted, I don't know. So we decided to not do the cemetery house. Uh, but we did go on a corner lot, which I know a lot of people won't do. But I like. Uh, I told this story to Sid really quickly. Um, when you're on a corner lot, that means that you have more to mow. You've got more things to do. And listen, that's great, but there's a tree that constantly smells like urine. Because <laughs> oh, every dog in the neighborhood, oh, that's their zone. I thought that's it was the weird urine tree, tree that Frank's been <laughs> yeah, telling me like, about. What's with the urine tree? <laughs> it's a unique one. Very rare variety. Yes. Uh, Mel, uh, my girlfriend, Mel, she actually bought a house. It was cheaper. Yeah, backed into the cemetery. She got spooked. She sold the house. Oh. Uh, I rented a house that backed into a golf course. I'm like, cool. Never felt like I had any privacy. They're always like, hey, four, <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Here's your ball. Here you go. Drop something. So that's a deal breaker for me. By the way, where does Devo's beard go. start? Yeah, yeah. And the turtleneck end. That's, that's Chew on that, distracted. everybody. Uncalled Chew on that. The first time. Devo's we'll uncalled for. It. Oh, there it is. Uncalled for. D, D we'll it's like a magic effect. Ta-da! <laughs> What's magic is trying to invite people over for barbecues when you overlook the cemetery. Mm. Oh. That's a tough go. It's 8 o'clock. I'm in. This is BT.